District Alliance Against the Cuts is also going to say a few short words and then I'm going to ask Kerry if she'd go next if that's okay. Thank you, Kerry. Thank you, Robin. Hi there. 23 years ago, we stood on this same spot when Margaret Thatcher introduced her hated poll tax and said, we will defy you with everything it takes. And 2,000 of us on this spot burned our poll tax bills and said, we will turn your flagship into your Titanic. We saw off the poll tax. We saw off Margaret Thatcher. And we give the same warning to that snivelling little wretch, Cameron, to Clegg, and indeed to any in the Labour Party who think they won't get the same treatment. If they do not repeal this legislation, we will come after you. We will come to your homes and pick at your homes. We will go to the courts and defend anybody who has a liability order issued against them for eviction. We will find out the names of every bailiff in this city and we will hound them. They will not take people out of their homes. There are people who three or four years ago approached Bristol City Council who are presently living in two bedroom flats and said we would like to downsize to a one bedroom flat. And they were told by the council, no, you have to stay put. There aren't enough one bedroom flats. What hypocrisy from the richest government on record to be spending its time hammering and destroying the lives of some of the poorest, most desperate people in this society. And we need the help of the trade union movement. Reference has been made to the need for trade unionists to band together in a one day general strike to send a message to this government that you cannot get away with sending us back to the workhouse. My grandfather, who was a docker, spent the 1930s walking to Avonmouth docks every day for a day's work at a time. And more often than not, because he was a trade union militant, he was told there was no work for him. And when the means testers came into his house, they said to my grandparents, there's only four of you. Why have you got six chairs? Sell your chairs before you can claim benefits. Frankly, it is no longer an exaggeration to say that left to their own devices, this government would love to go down that same road. So we say clearly today, this is a modest sized march, but we can have 2,000 people here over the next few months. There are 5,000 families in this city, 5,000 households who are going to be affected. Find out who is it in your street that sat at home worrying about whether they're going to be able to pay £14 a week or face eviction. £14 a week for having one extra bedroom is equivalent to 20% of the annual unemployment benefit you get. What planet does Clegg and Cameron think they're on? What planet do they think they're on? Taking money from the pockets of poor people when at the same time the bankers are enjoying obscene bonuses once again. Now I want to finish by saying that we know what this government is. We know what we have to do to repeal the poll tax. But we, as the anti-cuts alliance in this city, make an unequivocal pledge that we will follow the Labour Party as well. If your government, if you win the next election, do not immediately repeal this bedroom tax. I was very disappointed yesterday to read that that brave young woman who took the government to court when they made her work for nothing and she exposed it and she got judges to say it was wrong. The government yesterday passed retrospective legislation to close the loophole to make sure that young people like her can't get compensation and unfortunately the Labour Chief Whip has given its full support to the Tory government to bring the That must not happen. No more broken promises. We as an anti-cuts movement stand opposed to all cuts in jobs and services. Some of those cuts are happening in Labour councils as well as Tory councils. And what I would say to Labour Party members today, it is evident you are angry. It's evident you care. And it's evident you are unhappy about what is happening
something in your name. So join with the great mass of people in this country in an almighty movement to say to Cameron, as we said to Thatcher 23 years ago, you will not crush us, you will not reduce us to snivelling slaves who think you can do what you like with us. We're going to rise like lions and lionesses. Stand firm, join the anti-cats movement. We are many, they are few, they are history, we are the future.